Well, calipers are finally ready. All refurbed and ready to go on the car. Nice bright colour. Should last us a while. We're going to try and get it all on film for you guys to see the process as they're going on. So, as always, if you like it, drop a like down below. If you want to see more from the channel, subscribe so you don't miss anything. And, yeah, enjoy the video, guys. And we will catch you later. discs are really really shot. I mean they're not even grooved anymore, they're just uh just straight. So yeah. Take them off, take the back and play it off as well. Discs won't go. Take the disc out of Uh, right, these are the brackets that you need. Uh, get them off. You know. Get them on eBay. I'll link them. I'll link them on eBay. Uh, there's there's a bracket for the caliper carriers. 
Yeah, so just get them for me there. Like I said, I'll link them in the description. Uh, also get 300mm discs, SD180s. I've gone with the EBCs. Um, it's a Focus ST170. When you get the kit, you usually have to bring me down the other bolts. Uh, you usually have to cut them down, but with this scene, with these ones, you don't. The bolts are, are pre made for it, so that's fine. What I'm going to do is I'm gonna take, take this off a second. Uh, I'm going to put some thread lock on the on the caliper holder. So I'll put some medium thread lock on it just to keep them in place, stop them from banging about, stop them from getting loose.
I have also bought some credit holders. I could use a normal one, but I don't want to. I'm going to do the right one. Yeah, so just put some. We do. If I have any light, actually. Right, guys. I'm also gonna put my holes on now. Um, it's not really recommended that you do it first, but I'm putting mine on. Well, to be honest, it's just preference. I'm not tightening it or anything like that. I'm just. I'm just going to put it in, make sure it's nice and snug, make sure it fits. So I bought some, I bought some, uh, some braided ones, so these will go nicely with it, nicely with the effect. I will link everything in the description of what I bought, where I bought it from. Uh, obviously at the moment with the coronavirus happening, obviously I know a lot of people aren't going to be able to do it. line right so clip take it out front floor loosen the brake line which is this one here the brake fluid is a way to piss out Now as it is, pull it out, put this one up in there, and screw it back in. And it wants to fucking go in. Thank you. 
So that's all nipped up, nice and lovely. Um, make sure you clean the brake fluid off the the line and off any of the caliber as well, as it will obviously corrode the, the paintwork on the caliper. Uh, and then you can get rid of your old old caliper. It's up there. Get rid of that in. Uh, and obviously you've got your. Uh, tighten as well. See it's Get that nice tight. Make sure you crush him and screw it. Make sure you crush him. Now that should be nice and sealed right so that's that let's uh, clean it off there right, so put your pads in like that I like how nicely and flush they fit in now. Pop that in there. You can't believe the size difference. Hi. Like I've seen you change our pads and discs so many times and the size difference is just unbelievable. I can't wait when they're done to take her out and spin. Obviously you will if you if you're running just normal ST one seventy wheels you will have to put spacers on because they won't yeah, I, don't, I don't think your wheels will go on I'm just hoping that my wheels will go on with the spacers on I should do With 15 mil spaces, it will, it just clears. So 
but if you wanted to you could get 20s but I went opted for the tw uh, 15s for the front and 20s for the rear uh, but yeah that's that's about it so like literally now all you need to do is just bleed your brakes and then I like, bleed this this left yeah left brake first and then that's it all done lovely job so but like I say I will link everything in the description and I will go through everything that I've, I've done but yeah thank you very much